And now to some overnight breaking news out of Narragansett. The town council voting on a controversial housing ordinance. Motion approved, three to two. Just before one o'clock this morning, after several hours of debate, the council approved limiting the number of college students living at off campus homes. Yeah, this is going to impact hundreds of URI students who are looking for more aff affordable alternatives to living in school dorms, but it's a win for year round residents in town. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish live in our breaking news center this morning with these new overnight developments. Well, this so-called three student ordinance has created a rift between URI students and year round residents for years now. And last night in the town council chambers, all sides had a chance to lay it all out on the table. After nearly seven hours of debate, landlords, neighbors, students and counselors giving their thoughts on the proposed ordinance that would cap the number of students allowed to live together in a single family home to three people at once. The same ordinance was a approved last year in 2020, but struck down by the courts after a judge determined a public comment portion was cut short. Some at last night's meeting argue that the college crowd is noisy and disruptive and doesn't mesh well with a family neighborhood. But students say that the ordinance would drastically change their housing options and make rent unaffordable. Here's what folks had to say last night. A new crop comes in every September. It's not the town's responsibility to house the URI students. One of the big reasons people move off campus is because it's actually cheaper than living in a residence hall at the end of the day. If you start charging $800 plus rent to live in what should have been an eight-person house for three people, it's not going to be worth it. Now, it's important to note that this was a first reading of the issue and typically a second reading and a second vote would be needed before the ordinance becomes official. That's the latest live in the breaking news center this morning. I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.